humans! Welcome to the podcast, Wake Up Humans, with Steve Judson. Hey, it's Dr. Steven Judson, and you're listening to the Wake Up Humans podcast. This podcast is based off the book, Wake Up Humans, which innately we wrote, sharing some of our life experiences, not only as a child growing up and some experiences we had, but also as a doctor serving thousands of people through health crisis and helping them find their path to healing and not only that, their purpose in life and finding their passion. So when we wrote the book, it's to address some pre-existing notions about life that people have. And when they start connecting from within, they to discover their purpose as a human being and therefore unlock their own innate healing potential. And what we found with serving the masses is that many people are walking around asleep and unaware of this incredible truth that could literally save their lives transform their families' lives, their friends' lives, if they only understood the power that lies within them. And there's an amazing poet out there, writer, that I love to follow, pretty much uh, connect with on a daily basis, and his name is Zach Brown. And if you're not a country fan, I would suggest you become a Zach Brown fan, because he's very uh, deep and intrinsic and connected to the source of life and experiences. It's pretty cool. And there was a song that I was listening to this morning called On the Day That I Die. And uh, it starts off with him singing about being in a motel room and the sun shining through. And it says, I lost sleep but found a tune stuck inside my head. One of the biggest things I found growing up in my search for identity and purpose in life when I studied successful people was they would sit for ideas, they would get quiet and meditate and listen. They wouldn't sit and ask for things, but they would listen. And that's one of the things that I've done in my lifetime, and I talk about the proverbial yellow legal pad and having a yellow legal pad next to your bed and next to you or on your lap as you sit and listen. And you could simply listen to a song like this, you could meditate, you could pray, But you get to the point where you just have to stop asking for things and shut up and listen. And it seems a key thing that happens. And and what I've noticed with people, sometimes they'll come into the office and say, I I couldn't sleep last night. And they're upset about that. And I say, well, maybe you weren't supposed to. Maybe you weren't supposed to sleep. Maybe there was something you were supposed to hear. And oftentimes people are taking sleeping pills and, and, and maybe get up and drink or eat something to try to put themselves to sleep. And I'm trying to connect them to the big idea of maybe you're supposed to listen. You know, there's a lot of times I've been out walking around my neighborhood at 3 in the morning. And 3 in the morning is a magic time. When you study people who have done amazing things, a lot of ideas drop in on them at 3 in the morning. So when he said he had this tune stuck inside my head, I believe that each and every one of us has a tune stuck inside our head. We just have to get quiet to hear it and to listen and then write it down. And then you got to find a way, the, word, the last line of this verse is, got to find a way to make this feeling last. You ever get that euphoric feeling, we call it the jacuzzi experience, an aha moment, and then poof, it's gone in a couple days, or you share it with a friend and they, they either mock it or say that's BS. That's where we tell you to be careful who you share your headspace with, who you hang out with, and who you share your ideas with. You want people that are going to support you and lift you up. The next verse is amazing because I believe that I was born with a song inside of me. Never questioned why. I just kept on chasing that melody. And as time goes by, oh, it's funny how time can make you realize we're running out of it. So I challenge you to think about What's that melody you're chasing? What's that purpose? What's that passion? What's that thing in your life that makes you tick, exist, wake up every day? And I suggest if you can't answer that right off the bat or smile and say, I got it, then we have to discover that. I believe every human being should be discovering that to give them passion and zest and zeal for life. Because as it says, oh, it's funny how time can make you realize we're running out of it. And I'll often tell patients, you know, sometimes they'll come in and they blame their aches and pains and they say, I'm getting old. It's old age. And I'll say it beats the alternative. There's nothing worse than someone dying before their time, dying before they find their passion, dying before they've lived. 
So to blame old age is to blame the process. And what do we have to do to change that process? And that is to find health, vitality from within. And that's when coming in and getting your atlas checked and having a principal chiropractor in your life that can make sure you're living clear and you've got power from within to connect with your freaking melody and be passionate about life. Because here's the deal. You don't hear song when you're doped up. You don't hear song when you're fearful and depressed and anxious and you can't sit in peace and listen and express yourself. It goes on to say in the song, on the day that I die, I want to say that I was a man who really lived and never compromised. Now women, add in women. I was not a man or a woman who really lived and never compromise. What are you compromising day in and day out that's stealing your health, vitality, happiness, passion? Whether it's what you're putting in your body, up your nose, in your mouth, in your mind, that's stealing your song, your melody, your life. And when I've lived out my days until the very end, I hope they find me in my home, a guitar in my hands. Man, they're going to find me with my family standing around me, baby, saying you did it, Papa. We love you. You lived uncompromised. You lived with passion. You lived clear with this principle that the body heals from above, down, inside out, and it creates all the abundance and passion and happiness that you want to create because you have that choice. That's it. And then it says, but I found peace with the path I took. As I lay down my head, crossroads you gotta choose. Which way do we win or lose? But every bone in my soul says to sing on through. The Bible says as I walk through the valley of death. And you know what's in the valley of our hard times is where we find our strength. Deep down in the valley in the mountainsides is where you find the stream. It's the water. It's not at the top of the mountain. There's no river at the top of the mountain. It's where the fertile soil's found. It's where life is prospering. And you got to go through it and create and find your way in life by going through the valley. It's where we find our purpose and strength and we embrace it. Instead of having fear and creating anxiety and depression, you find purpose. And the proverbial crossroads is where many are in life. And I talk about the two roads in our office. And if you take the one road... Of darkness, anxiety, sadness, drugs, medications, just things that are there to suppress your expression of life, your song gets shut off, diminished. But if you choose the life road, the hope, the passion, the abundance, the power that created you from two cells that innately is expressing itself through every organ of your body, and you learn to tap into that something on a daily basis... By getting quiet, you find your melody. You find the song in life. You strum on your guitar that makes you smile. That makes you abundant. Because I believe that I was born with a song inside of me. Never question why. I just keep on singing these melodies as time goes by. It's funny how time can make you realize we're running out of it. You're running out of it, baby. Wake up. Wake up, humans. And on the day that I die, I want to say that I was a man or woman who really lived and never compromised. And when I've lived out my days until the very end, I hope they find me in my home and could be proud of me. Because I was proud of myself. And I chose life. And I chose passion. I chose abundance. I loved. I learned. I served. I served others and raised them up to a higher level. This is what we want to strive for. And in order to create this, we must be vitalistic, healthy, vibrant, connected to the source. And the most abundant way to be connected is connected from within. Through the brain that talks to the body, every cell tissue organ, 
the brain stem which controls every vital function and adaptation within you has to be fully abundant and connected. And in order for that to be, your atlas must, your atlas must, your atlas must be clear. And there's no way around that, folks, but to have a master upper cervical person to go in there and get that atlas clear to know when it's creating pressure and your brain and body are not communicating. I've seen thousands of people heal from things that thousands of people were not supposed to heal from. I've seen thousands of people wake up and find their dream in life because they got connected from within. And I know there's people out there that'll say this is bullshit and this is corny and whatever, and I don't care because this is my freaking song, baby. Because I've seen people go down, people that I love go down and lose hope in life and expression of life, die young. Or worse yet, live trapped within their soul and spirit and they can't express themselves the way that you and I have a choice to do it. So wake up and make the choice. You know, when we say wake up humans, it doesn't mean there's something wrong with you when you're asleep. But it's about understanding a principle, a purpose of what, as humans, we could be capable of, the amazing things. And operate in a space out of gratitude and love and hope and faith Not fear, anxiety, jealousy, and envy. That crushes human expression. And until we realize how amazing each and every one of us is from within, and we can connect to that thing, we will not express life to our fullest potential. It's just not possible. But if every man, woman, and child in our country and in the world could understand one major principle, hashtag how's your atlas? How's your atlas? And if it's subluxated, putting pressure on the brainstem, you're not expressing life to your fullest potential. Exclamation point. And when we can start making this part of our paradigm, that crossroads becomes a path to life. And we become connected. And we become powerful. And men, women, and children wake up to their purpose in life and are able to express life on fire. That someday they just kind of burn out. Because their time has come to transition. And they don't die young. They live as they were supposed to live. Be blessed. The message is simple. Live clear so you can live with passion. And share the message with those you love. Go on Amazon, buy the book Wake Up Humans and learn more. This is why we wrote it, to share the principle. All over the world. So that humans can live a better existence. So on the day that they die, they know that they connected to their melody. They held their guitar an expression of life with pride. And they left nothing behind. They left it all out on the field we called life. And those that you're connected to are proud of you. And they know you did it. And you kicked ass because you had the right to express yourself to your fullest potential as God intended you to live. Share the message, spread the word, live with passion, live clear. God bless you. You've been listening to Wake Up Humans with Steve Judson. To get Steve's books, Wake Up Humans and Atlas Adjusted, just visit Amazon. The Wake Up Humans podcast is a copyright of Steve Judson. Be sure to look up other episodes. Wake Up Humans will educate, inspire, and bring you clarity. Thanks for listening to Wake Up Humans with Steve Judson. Visit judsonchiropractic.com.